dear learner in this section we are going to start assigning our earthquake and wind load so it's very important to uh, understand about this section because uh, we know uh, lateral force is more important than our gravity force so before defining our lateral load we have to understand how this software will transfer that lateral load to our structure to apply lateral load or before applying lateral load we have to i mean before applying earthquake and wind load we have to define and assign a diaphragm so what is diaphragm actually first of all you have to know about that and why we will assign that when will assign a diaphragm this will transfer our i mean this the load will apply it in software this will be transferred to our structure through it okay so this uh, portion will help us to define our diaphragm so also if i uh, show you about diaphragm or uh, why we need to assign diaphragm in it apps so if you see here diaphragm are horizontal structural elements with two primary roles in a structure to resist and transmit various types of load and to tie the vertical element firmly load passes through lateral and vertical load path until it reads, reaches to the soil from the roof in general there are three kinds of component contributing to those paths vertical element horizontal element and foundation diaphragm such as slab are horizontal component with major functions such as to resist in plane shear axial and bending action due to lateral load to transmit load from a vertical element to the other to transmit the lateral load acting on non-structural element like adding wall etc to the vertical load bearing or transferring element through the connection to provide lateral support Racing to a structural element which are not designed to resist lateral load to resist out of plane load for example load on slab uplift pressure due to wind action etc even uh, if you search about that option on google you will get huge information on it so before uh, doing anything in software you should know in details on it because uh, if you do not know anything about that then you may face several problems or when you do some mistake you will not be able to verify that so in our next lecture i'll show you how we'll define our diaphragm and how we'll ascend that on our structure so thank you thank you very much